Welcome everybody to another Voice of Nick show. We're playing more Metal Gear 2 and uh, we got some stuff going on. Okay, we know that a person on the first floor with a green beret is going to lead us to uh, the secret area. But we don't know where this person is. None of these people have a green beret. We also know that we got two key cards here, which is down here, card one and two. So if we do, I don't think we tried card two on this floor yet. So let's try and give that a shot. Oh crap, but I have to go all the way down in order to, in order to, right, in order to go out. I have to go down. Got him. Damn, we're getting pretty good at the sneaking aspect. Alright, so now all, all we have to do is go upwards. Good stuff, Broken Soul, getting a cheer in there. Let's get an exclamation mark cheer in that chat and a hype. Uh, that is gonna be a new uh, Voice of Nick voice. How about this one? My name is Schneider. I'm the resistance leader, and I resist everything, including uh, doing my homework, and taking a bath, and uh, going to sleep at a reasonable time. I am six years old, but I also happen to be, uh, I carry a firearm, and I uh, infiltrate bases, because I'm also a secret agent, but don't tell anyone. And don't mention the name Cody Banks to me because I'll be very angry. I've never heard of Cody Banks and I've never heard of Ar Ar Artemis Prime. What's that other one called? I am Schneider and I'm the only kid secret agent alive. That's Schneider. He's a cool guy. A cool kid, I guess. Schneider. Let's get a, a marker for Schneider in there. Thank you so much to Broken Soul for the cheer. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you to Broken Soul, it's very much appreciated. Let's jump back in it, here we go. Artemis Prime. I actually couldn't remember his name. And go! Oh crap! I was like one frame too late. All right, we gotta escape these guys somehow. Okay, so door card number two does not work. Card number one does not work. What if we try and? Oh. Use it on this door? Aha! So card two worked. Oh baby, we got right under that tank. Good stuff. Oh man. Chuckster, welcome into the show. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Chuckster joining? We were playing Metal Gear 2. How many rations do we have? We have two rations, that's not that bad. Alright. Check under these tanks. Alright, so this is a whole new area then. But can we get through this door? We cannot. Alright, so we got a lot of cards to get, I'm assuming. But there's a whole lot of floors on this building to investigate. Oh my god. We're outside. Oh jeez. Oh man. Alright, I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it's a green! It's the Green Beret guy. 
So we have to follow this guy then. Here we go. Don't let him see us. Send some hearts, ladies and gents. We're following the guy. Let's see where he goes. Chuckster sending hearts. Thank you, Chuckster. Uh-oh. Oh, look. The, the, the scene changed. Oh, look at that. He turns around to check if we're there. So we better not stand right behind him. Oh, man. So I guess this is kind of like a metaphor for like, we don't know where to go in the forest, so it only works if we're following him. Or like, the path is only there if we're following him. Hearts from Broken from Space Dust, thank you guys, is there Tundra? Thank you guys for the hearts. Alright, we're following Green Guy. He's really trying to get us here, he's very uh... Nervous. Oh man, okay. I feel like we're making progress. I think this is where Dr. Marv is being held, is where the person said. Oh my god. I I I lost him. Ah crap! It put us back at the beginning. Maybe I don't have the equipment needed. Oh, maybe I need to use the binoculars. Aha! I'm under the tank, you can't see me. See, I don't want to, like, bump into him, you know? I don't think we can, though. If I use the binoculars now, what does it look like? It doesn't let us. Okay, so binoculars do not work in the forest, I guess. I suppose that makes sense. Flocking, getting the heart sticky, flocking. Alright, so we're gonna stay closer behind him now. It looks like he will begin at a minimum safe distance from us. There we go. Good. How did he see us? Damn it. That didn't make any sense. I guess it wasn't, the sight line wasn't blocked then. All right. <clears throat> huh, my chat window is frozen. There's some kind of problem with the API right now where my chat keeps getting frozen. No, I don't want to kill this guy. Oh, they know where I am then. So the thing is that they won't look under... They won't look... Oh, God damn it. They won't look under the tank, but they also will just wait you out until you have to come out. Like, there's no way to get away from that if they know you're under the tank. All right, we're gonna try this one more time. Otherwise, we might not be capable of doing so. All right, here we go. 
I think we have to leave this screen. Who knows if we even have the right key card to get in where Dr. Marv is. Ah! I'm really messing this up in every way imaginable. Okay, so we want to be able to follow at a safe distance, but also not lose him. I'm just going to duck behind the trees just in case. <laughs> he must be able to see partially diagonally, so we can't go too close to the edge. We got this, we got this. Here we go. It's at that diagonal there that's like a little open space. We can afford to wait though, because he'll have to spend some time walking between. There we go. Good. Hold it. There we go. This is the same. Why am I following this guy? He's going to the same spot he was just in. We just came from here. Who is this guy? He's walking right back in. No way. Oh no, he's going back here. Maybe that was a diversion. It's the same spot! Maybe I have to go up when he- Whoa! Why did he just run like that? Oh my god. Is he like nervous that we're following him? What is happening? Oh, this is a different spot. Okay, so this was a... This was part of the plan. This is part of the plan. Here we go. Oh, crap. Oh! Screwed it up again. Oh man. And we don't even know if this is what we're supposed to do. It's the best lead we have. He's the guy in the green beret. How could I have messed that up? Let's see what the, these guys have to say. Campbell doesn't have anything. It's not in the blueprints, but 
The kids here say the Zanzibar building and the tower building are connected underground. See ya! You should wait 30 minutes after eating before playing games. The blood flow shifts to your stomach and your brain doesn't function as quickly. That's when your attention level is at its lowest. So you should wait 30 minutes after eating, before you start playing. Over and out. I love Master Miller. Oh man. <laughs> Chuck's just saying Metal Gear was a cakewalk compared to this. Yeah. This certainly wants... Like, you can tell that they wanted to up the ante after Metal Gear. It's such a simple mission, too. It's just like, follow the guy. But Kojima knows how to make anything <laughs> difficult if he wants to. Give every, anything a little spice to it. Alright, here we go. Hey, welcome Ben Frost into the chat. Can we get an exclamation mark high for Ben Frost? What are you up to, Ben Frost? So the big thing is we have to make sure we don't ever walk forwards and then immediately walk backwards. Because if we do that, we're screwed. And we can't just preempt where we know he's gonna go, because the path only opens if he goes there first. See, this is a really tricky spot, because if we had pressed the button with too heavy of a finger, then it would have, oh my god, then he would have been spotted. this come on just tap it good okay 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 he's going up here and then this is where we left off good all right we're in it now Here we go. Oh! Oh! Okay, we're here. He spotted us, but we made it. Now we probably should eat a uh, ration, though. I want to check if there's a uh, thing under here. Let's just go in each little zone. As you're saying stealth emote here. <laughs> we need a stealth emote. The thumbs up is the closest we have to a stealth emote, I guess. A Kojima emote. Oh man. Okay, what is inside the door? Let's eat a ration before you go in. Building looks cracked, you know what that means. Punch it. Okay. We only have 16 bullets. 
There we go. Luckily, this works. Damn. It... I can see him on the on the radar. He must be using Morse code. Let's call Campbell. Hey Campbell, you know how to read Morse code? Because I don't. It's a tap code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Before that, they were used during the Korean War. Instructions on deciphering the code should be written in the software manual, over and out. Ah, oh, great. Well, I definitely don't have that. This is, I don't know if you know, Campbell, I downloaded, this is, this is a remaster. It doesn't have a software manual. Whatever happens, don't give up. Do whatever it takes to survive, over and out. All right, well, we're gonna do the authentic Metal Gear experience here then. I'm gonna go on my telephone, my portable telephone. And we shall look up Metal Gear 2 MSX2 Software Manual Scan. And we're going to look this up. Because he said it's in the software manual. And it would be nice if we could look at the actual software manual. Let's find out. Nobody has a picture of it though. Software manual. Oh, okay. This is a website called the MSX Repository. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Aha! Manual! Download PDF. 300 DPI. Here we go, ladies and gents. By the way, th th this is the type of a, a hint that would have been like a big trick because you wouldn't necessarily think to look in the manual of the game when he says that. But, uh,. I happen to have played this game like three times already, so <laughs> we're, we're dispensing with that part. Okay, so we have some tips on guns, some tips on where the stuff is. This manual is actually entirely in Japanese because this game was never released. Um, this was only released on the MSX2, which is a Japanese platform, so there was never a manual in English. But uh, luckily, your boy knows how to read Japanese. Some might say for this exact moment. Uh, let's see where we got the tap codes, if there are tap codes. Space that's getting those cringes. Good stuff. Is there saying, Nick, breaking all the rules? Yeah, well, so we're not looking up like a guide. It, we're looking up, we're trying to get the authentic experience of the, uh, of the game by looking up the manual by looking up a PDF of the manual, rather. Wow, this is a cool manual. It's got a lot of stuff. If I was playing this on PC, we'd be able to see it all together, but um, when I do Xbox One games, I can't actually show it on screen. All right, they tell you about all the bosses. Chuck's just saying, you've trained your whole life for this moment. Japanese translation in full effect. Exactly. It, oh, is this it? Nope, this is like a glossary. This is a very detailed manual. It has a glossary of terms. Telling us about oilix. Oh, this is a timeline. Wow, I would like to sit and read this one day. This is really cool. This is all the different items you can get. 
They're telling us about the Foxhound unit. Oh my god. They're telling us all the different characters. Oh, I don't even want to look at that. They're telling us how to save the game. Tap code. Okay. So here's the thing for tap codes. I'll show you guys on the camera. Um, give it a second to adjust here. It is not adjusting at all. Get closer, get farther. It's not gonna work. Maybe I turn down the brightness? Oh yeah, that kind of worked. Hold on, let me turn it down further. Yeah, okay. So the tap codes are this. You can see that it says tap code in Japanese. Tap code. And then you can see there's a chart on the side. It's like A, B, C, D, all that stuff. So what we want to do is figure out how this applies to the tapping. And I'm very glad that we did this because, you, you know, usually the answer would be that you can also just Google, like, what's a military tap code, you know? But if you were playing this on the MSX2 in 1987, then you would be literally doing this. You'd be looking at this chart. <laughs> and oh, okay, so they tell us three comma two would be M, and then it spells out Metal Gear 2. So we wanna hear the, uh, the tap, we wanna listen for this tap code then. So let's go through the door. Oh, somebody's calling us, hold on. It's a tap code. They were used to communicate in North Vietnamese POW camps. Yeah, I already, Campbell, I already thought to call you and you already told me this. Hey, Broken Soul coming in with 50 cheer. Thank you to Broken Soul for the cheer. Let's get an exclamation mark cheer in the chat. And uh, let's do a random wiki in here. We ended up getting Low Battery Jeremy, who runs on battery. My name is Low Battery Jeremy. I can't keep my eyes open anymore because they take too much power. I, what am I wasting all my power on? I'm wasting it on uh, secondary uh, mouth and stomach that digest and eat hamburgers 10 miles from here. I don't have power to do anything else but eat hamburgers. That's low battery Jeremy, ladies and gents. Good stuff. Thank you to Broken Soul for the cheer. Let's get a marker in here for low battery Jeremy. Very good stuff. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a voice of Nick voice straight from the shout out. Straight from the shout out. Straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who cheers over 100 gets to summon a new voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, verse. Thank you, Broken Soul, for the cheer. It's very highly appreciated. Let's jump back in it. So the tap codes here are three comma two would be M. So that's three. So it's first down, then over. Okay, so now we'll listen for the tap code here. I missed it, I missed it. Wait, 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 go back. Okay, six one six four seven five seven three six two. It's a five digit thing. So now six one was one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's the number one. Then six four, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two is what he's writing. Okay, seven, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, zero. One, two, zero. Oh, he's giving us a, he's giving us a phone number. Seven, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, eight. One, two, zero, eight. Six, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two. One, two, zero, point eighty two. Okay.
Oh, baby. What a game. What a game. I'm gonna keep this tab open so I can read more of this instruction manual after we finish the game. Thank you, MSX Repository, which is like a 1990s looking website where they just have scans of the of the cover art and manuals of every MSX game. You gotta love those kinds of websites. Ah, I see you figured out my code. Where's Dr. Mar? It's been a while, eh, Solid Snake? Dr. Drago Petrovic Madnar, how did you... Marv and I knew each other from the Prague Academy. We didn't speak to each other's language, but we were scientific comrades after a fashion. I was captured along with Marv while we were in America. Where is Doc... Oh, where is Dr. Marv? He was moved from here to the tower building a few days ago. It's a tall building a few kilometers north of here. Damn it. I'm late again. So Marv's in the tower building. Snake, can you guess why they left me alive? They must need you for something, and that means... Yes, Metal Gear. Snake, it is here, in Zanzibar land. They've already completed a new Metal Gear. The one you destroyed three years ago was only a prototype. The new, improved Metal Gear is many, many more times powerful. They've also working on a light version for mass production. That it was Metal Gear that attacked the nuclear disposal sites. Precisely. Metal Gear is a nuclear-equipped walking tank. Its true power is unleashed only when it is armed with nuclear weapons. Zanzibar Land now has the only nukes in the world, and they have their sights set on Oilix, a miracle energy source. Snake, now that you know all this, perhaps you can guess who is behind it. Big Boss. The very same. With Metal Gear and Oilix, he plots to rule the world. We cannot let the secret of Oilix fall into his hands. Science is not meant to be used only for killing. Marv's will is strong, but his heart is weak. We must hurry. I don't know how long he can withstand the torture. If they use drugs on him, he won't last long. Marv and I were both carrying microtransmitters inside our bodies. They were given to us by a female agent from STB. You could get in touch with her if you knew her frequency. Madnar, what are you going to do? The wall separating us is made of Chobham armor plate. You can't blast your way through it. Just leave me here and go rescue Marv. Snake. Alright, I'll come back for you later. Snake. My, my daughter Ellen is a fan of yours. She's not married yet and I'm afraid I... Oh, and I have a zoologist friend, Johan Jacobson, who lives around here. You can reach him on frequency 140.40. 1440? Wow, there's a lot of... Oh, right, that's correct. 40. Johan. He'll tell you anything you need to know about animals. Don't, don't worry. I'll make sure you get home in time for your daughter's wedding. Thank you, Snake. Damn, complex relationships going on here. Oh, man. Good stuff. Broken Soul saying, glad I joined Twitch. This is fun. We're glad to have you here, Broken Soul. Oh, Chuckster saying the same thing. And Azur. Great minds think alike. Azur saying, I opened my account because of these giveaways on Facebook. You got a key for Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, really? That's funny. Good stuff. So now... I can just knock back towards Dr. Marv, or Dr. Uh, Madnar. So now we can go back through the other thing, back to the beginning. Broken Soul saying I joined because I wanted to watch the live streams instead of just playthroughs on YouTube. Oh, interesting. So you were watching the YouTube videos first then. That's good to know. That's cool to know. So now we want to go down. Oh, wait, we should call Johan Jacobson. 140.40. 
Why does Foxhound use animals for code names anyway? Who came up with the idea that animals are so warlike? People, that's who. I just don't get it. over and out. Good introduction, Johan. I guess maybe we were supposed to introduce ourselves to him when we first, um... <laughs> when he first said that we should call him. So the Green Beret guy is still here then. Oh, I was trying to get him. Almost. Okay, so now... Run! Damn, you can't really get away from him. There we go. Good stuff. Okay. Let's drink some coffee here. Good old reflected on the good old days. Glad to have you guys here. Experiencing the magic of Metal Gear together. Ah. Okay, so we didn't get any new key cards, but we got some new information? Yeah, I guess we didn't really get any new... Well, what we learned is that Dr. Marv was moved. I didn't write down where he is, though. Um, yeah, we won't be able to get through the door. Yeah. Oh, as you're saying, Black Ops Early Access. That was a cool game. Damn, I just can't run away fast enough from that. Oh wait, we have to go like this, and then... There we go. As long as we can break line of sight, then we're good. Let's see what Master Miller has to say. Oh, he has the saliva thing again, okay. No, Master Miller, I'm done. Oh man, Broken Soul Saint, glad to be here. Now we wanna go, can we go out the front door now? Oh crap, this guy's gonna walk through the door. Oh, we can. This is probably not a good idea though. Ill-advised, ill-advised! Oh jeez. Okay. There's a lot of guys walking around. What we need to do now is get... Oh wait, we can check if this door opens. I forgot about this door. No, this is not open. It seems like the kind of door that won't open for a long time. Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Let's go around this way. Where are you going, guy? Where are you going? Okay, he's going that back in towards the elevators. Oh god. Oh, that was close. Okay, get in the elevator. So we now have a level 2 card, which means that we're going to be able to access more areas. Where else have we not gone? We'll have to check... Well, we should go to level 2 because that is going to have more rations that we can get. And I think more ammo as well. Good stuff. Ben Frost resubscribing on there. And a lot of hype in that chat. Let's get a hype from me as well. Ben Frost, thank you so much for the continued support on the channel. That's 10 months! on there and of course as a member of the coffee posse you get many things on this channel including the voice of nick emo legendary status in the chat and discord 200 meatballs higher chance to win in the heist mini games and ad free streams you also have that handsome sub badge in front of your name thank you so much this ben frost for uh, the continued 
support on here. And getting those voice of Nick loves in that uh, in that sub message. Good, good stuff. Let's uh, jump in to the Metal Gear. A lot of hype in there. I'm gonna post some uh, likes awarded in there as well. Likes awarded to Solid Snake uh, for being sneaky and to Ben Frost for being great. Is there a saying, remember when Nick used to stream 11 games concurrently? Yeah, that was uh, a little out of hand. I believe that was when we were playing Dragon Quest XI. And it was like, we couldn't, we couldn't finish anything. I think it was like Dragon Quest and The Witcher 1 at the same time, and a bunch of other stuff. And like Yakuza. Like those were all games that like we just couldn't finish. And then I believe we ended up finishing like three games on the same day. Ain't that just the way it always works out? Broken thing, what does the blue crown mean? I don't know, I, I don't see any blue crowns on mine. Blue crown? Yeah, I'm not sure. And go! Ooh, that was good. So we want to let this guy go because above this screen is a ration. Good. So now... Now you want to check if there's any doors. I think there's at least one door on this floor. Here we go. Let's check if there's anything in here. No. Uh-oh, this guy's coming over. Oh, there is another door. All right, have we been in here? Oh no, it's because it's level two. Suppressor, what? I wonder if that ever existed in the original. Okay, so now it has a suppressor. So if I shoot this thing, let's see if I can shoot somebody with this. It doesn't suppress our footsteps. I guess that wouldn't make sense. It suppresses our gunshots. All right, let's try and shoot this guy. Get over here. Oh crap, this isn't gonna go well. No! But he didn't notice us when we shot the gun. See, look, he's not hearing it when we shoot. Ready? Yeah, they're not turning around. So it is suppressed. Good stuff. <laughs> As you were saying, I love the newbie questions. It makes me so nostalgic. Yeah, it is a, it's very refreshing. Making us remember, remember our roots. So now we want to go to floor three here. Hey, Broken Souls coming in with 41 more cheer. Thank you so much to Broken Souls. Let's get a cheer in that chat. And a boom, cheer fist bump. Thank you to Broken Souls adding on to those cheers. Oh wait, so what is this then? Oh, right. So we have a couple of areas to check here. Number one, there might be an item in one of these. Yes, I knew it. Oh, so now we have 90 ammo. Boom. Got him. All right, so there's two doors. One of them we could not open before, but now we can. So can we use 
card one? Nope. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Run. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. We're out of O2. Oh, crap. Go! Yeah! Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Broken Soul saying, I love Nikki. He's great. Thank you. You're great too, Broken Soul. Uh-oh. Okay. We're back in it. Now, you gotta be careful about this camera. Okay. So... Uh-oh. Oh, this is a big ol' thing. So we're gonna wait for the camera to go past. I believe this door we could not get through last time. But we still can't. But we can get through this one. Right, this is where the, uh... The, uh, Black Ninja was. Which turned out to be Schneider. Oh man, good stuff. Hey, Ben Frost coming in with the cheer. Thank you to Ben Frost for the cheer. That's, uh... Cheer message in the chat, and let's get another voice of Nick voice. How about this one? My name is Dr. Madnar. I have 80 mad scientists inside a laboratory, and they're being experimented on by Frankenstein's monster. He's the one, the scientist now, so he named them Frankenstein's monster's monster. Monsters. And he, he sewed them all together to be one giant creature which is like a, the size of a, of a mech suit. So he uses them to, th to take down cities and stuff and d destroy buildings. It really hurts the scientists because they're just still made out of skin. W or do I do it? I'm the one who does it. I'm Mad Dr. Madnar. They're my I don't know the storyline going on anymore. <laughs> That's Dr. Madnar, right? Uh, in the middle of it, he forgot how his own story worked. Uh, Dr. <laughs> Madnar, I like that guy. Dr. Madnar, good stuff. Thank you to Ben Frost for the cheer. It's very much appreciated. Anybody who cheers over 50 on the channel gets a Voice of Nick voice straight from the wiki as their shout out. Anyone who cheers over 100 gets to summon a brand new Voice of Nick voice straight from the depths of the Nickiverse. Verse, 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 verse. Thank you to Ben Frost, it is very much appreciated. And let's jump back in it. Here we go. So now, uh... This should open, right? Maybe it's level two. Oh, so I guess we got the level two card in the Black Ninja battle. Okay. So I, I remember we could get through that door. That's how we got the uh, binoculars, maybe? Well, this should change. I don't know how to make it change. Change. Oh my god. Well, that's one way to do it. Wait, can I not get through this door? There we go. Uh-oh. Right, there used to be an item in here. Okay. Oh, okay. Go! And... Well, I really shouldn't have walked through that. Good thing this wasn't pointing that way. Oh, man. Is there saying, Nick got us through tough times in our personal lives with his kookiness. <laughs> I'm very glad to hear that. My kookiness. I like that descriptor. Broken Soul saying, I'm having tough times right now. His comical voices and stuff help a lot. I appreciate that. I'm very glad to hear that I could be a help. Oh, crap. How do I always manage to hit that thing? Oh, right. That's one thing we didn't do yet was to uh, go through the dust chute. Oh, crap. Hello. Good, okay. 
So we're good again, we're good, we're good. Oh, this game is scary. Yeah, we're thinking about you though. Broken soul. Ah, I'm not gonna be able to get away from this camera. Go! Oh my god, that was close. Oh, he still saw me anyway. I guess the camera can see, because it has like an overhead view, that the camera can see over... Oh crap. Let's go through the dust chute. Go! I made my escape. That was pretty smart. I wonder where we ended up though. Oh my god. The trash compactor. Oh! Wait, can I get that? It's useless, just throw it away, they say. Wait, I want to see what the garbage does. I, I didn't get to read that. Oh, what's this one? Picked up mannequin's right arm. But it's useless, just throw it away. Dang it. See, this rolling pin makes a little bit more sense. How about this one? Mannequin's right arm again. Why do they have so many right arms of mannequins? The blue one. Snake skin! But it's useless. One of these is gonna be worth something. Ready, go. I'm just gonna keep trying. Oh, it's a ration! Wait, wait, I need to eat that. So there is useful stuff in these uh, garbage bags. I wasn't crazy. Mannequin's right arm. Okay, so let's go through here, and then through here. Another ration. Okay, so we want to go like this. Cigarette butt. How many items do they have in these trash bags? Pigeon dropping. Why would they even throw that in a trash bag? Another ration. Damn. This game is great. Wow. Oh, baby. The heck is that? Are these mines? Can I shoot them? I cannot shoot them. I can't walk off of this area either. What? That's a kid. Oh, they mentioned the war orphans. They must be the war orphans. Oh, and this is B2 then. Oh, so we can get through this door. But how have we never noticed that we can go through that door? Maybe we only went here when we didn't have a key card. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we had any key cards when we first went here. Oh, is there saying join the Discord? Yeah, definitely make sure you check out the Discord, uh, Broken Soul, if you uh, are interested. It's sort of like outside of stream type stuff. Um, oh, and yes, it is free to join. Uh, that link will just give you an invite into there. Okay, so we can't actually get through this door. We want to go... I probably shouldn't shoot this kid. That would be... Meh. Okay, good, I cannot. I cannot shoot him. But as we all know, it is my policy. <laughs> it's my policy to find out whether it's possible to shoot the kid. Damn, we're making some progress with a capital P in this game. I love it. Okay, save it. And this is really like, man, it, it raises the blood pressure. That's the proper Metal Gear experience. Uh. All right, now we're on B1. Oh, we've never been here. God, is this gonna have more black holes? Up! Oh! I said it, I said it, but I didn't even think, I didn't think they would do that to me. 
You got me, Kojima. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Take that. Ooh, what is this? Plastic explosives. Is there some Kojima san? Oh, he's a he's a tricksy one. Plastic explosive, a lightweight, high performance moldable explosive can be detonated off screen if within radar range. Wow, that's cool. So it's like a better version of the uh, other one because it's not a timer anymore. That's definitely preferable. So I can't get through this door. Can't get through this door either. Oh god. Ah! We were so close to not... Okay. Oh, we got an Uzi! So does the silencer work on the Uzi as well? Because it just says, like, accessory. So submachine gun. Yeah, look, accessory. A lightweight American SMG. Hold down the X button for full auto fire. Can be fitted with the suppressor. Can also be reloaded. Reloaded? What do you mean reloaded? So I think this is also suppressed then. God, I'm scared to walk across any areas now. Let's let's go back to the elevator so that it saves. Oh man. So we'll go down and then right back up and then we'll save it. Kojima. He's getting us. Okay, we'll save this. Apparently it didn't actually save anything. That's weird. Oh, Broken's saying, why did we choose meatballs? Um, it was actually because on stream, we, uh, I believe I was asked, like, what's my catchphrase? And I didn't have a catchphrase, so I said, uh, that's a spicy meatball, because I am uh, half Italian. And so then the currency, when, when I found out that we could make a channel currency, it, it had to be meatballs. And I kind of like it. I certainly do enjoy me a good meatball in real life. Okay, so how do we get this guy without him seeing us? Maybe we can just wait for him to come around. The silencer is definitely equipped on the Uzi as well though. It seems to just be a global item. Kojima, you got me. Got me again. So did we... Did well, Now what we're going to find out is, is our save... See, our save did not save the fact that we got the Uzi. So we want to get the plastic explosives. This door cannot be opened, right? Right. This has the Uzi. So we have to go all the way up, or else we'll fall in the hole. Ah! That's a nice way to clear that screen, but this is definitely gonna have holes. Maybe if we do this, 
Very slip! Aha! Kojima! Oh wait! I still fell in the hole! Got me again. He got me again. Mwah! I can't... I, I think I'm smarter than Kojima. That's when you know you're making a mistake. Oh my god. Okay, now we do it for real. So we have to keep getting these items every time, because we can't... Apparently it won't let us save it. We can't do the thing we did in Metal Gear 1, where you just go back to the elevator and save. Okay. Now, we got the Uzi, we got the explosives. This door I don't think opened, right? Okay. Okay, now we go up. We gotta make sure we don't step in the hole here. Oh, see, so the, the, the clue that I wasn't paying attention to is that we want to follow where the guy is walking because he obviously won't want to step in the hole either. Ah! Okay. So the, what I wa should have done is to observe the pattern that these guys were walking in. And what I really want to be able to do is to punch all the walls, of course. Oh, I can't even get in this thing. Now this is going to probably get us killed here. But we gotta know. Because all these walls are cracked, which means that it's likely that there will be... a... Um, a thing here. I don't think this hole goes all the way to the wall. Also, we just got plastic explosives, which means that it's, it's possible that they gave it to us in order to allow us to use it in this level. Oh man. Gotta watch out for the hole that's right here. Oh crap, I forgot that that makes a noise. Yeah, go that way, guard. Ah! So we have several doors that we can't open yet. In due time. Ladies and gents, we have a whole new arsenal here. We got a handgun, a Uzi, plastic explosives. Oh crap, I did it again. I wonder if I can shoot him from... No, I can't shoot him from here. Yeah! Snake is a master shooter. He's like the guy from Wanted. He can shoot around corners. Okay, we cannot go right because that's where the hole is. Alright, that was very lucrative. It didn't actually help us to get anything that we would progress us. Oh wait, look, that's a door. I think that's a door on the top. See, this is really tricky because... Let's see if we save now, if this will actually save it. You can tell because if the time indicator is the same, then that means it didn't uh, save any farther forward. Yeah, it didn't save. So, what if we go up a floor, get out of the elevator, then call the elevator?
Because I think last time I just went up and down and then left. So this is like straight up loading the game. It has to save it now. Here we go. Oh man, okay. Now if we save it. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you have to get out of the elevator or else it won't work. Now, I don't remember where the actual... Let's see where he walks. Okay, so this whole area is safe. But we don't know to the right or left what is safe or not. This is good. Aha! See, I missed that last time. Ammo! Oh, okay, so we can only hold 90. That's a lot, though. That's good. Now we're on basement one. We don't need to go to the first floor right now. We've already checked all the doors there. So that means it's on three F we checked. Is there a four F? We should also get another ration. Uh, no, we don't need it. All right, ladies and gents, send some hearts. Snake is about to Figure something out. There's no other way for us to get... I don't think this this elevator doesn't go to the basement, I don't think. Now, what's on 3F? Oh, right. This is where this room is. But if I go left, I don't think I was able to do this before. Yeah, level 1 wouldn't get us there, but level 2 also doesn't get us there. Okay. Right. We have been on 3F then. Yeah. How would we get to this left side, though? It looks like... Oh, you know, the, the door would probably goes all the way around. That left door probably goes all the way around. Is there a space that's getting those hearts? Thank you, guys. Let's see what's on 4F, if there is one. 4F is my only idea right now. I don't know where else would it be. There we go. All right, let's hope this opens. It does not open. Is there a 5F? There's not. Maybe there's a, a basement that we haven't been to here. Or maybe outside the building there's a door that we haven't checked. So this doesn't go any lower down. Uh-oh. Where else could it be? There are two ways for the enemy to find you. One is by sight, the other is by sound. Sa oh crap. The key is to operate silently. If you make a noise, get ready for a fight immediately. Over and out. Damn, it's so easy to accidentally skip the dialogue in this game. Zanzibar land is full of children, right? That means there must be lots of small places for them to ha uh, crawl and hide. See ya. Broken Souls th Sitting Hearts, thank you. We got a lot of love on today's episode. Thank you, guys. You should wait 30 minutes after eating. <laughs> Damn it, Master Miller. Snake, have you found Mob yet? I don't know how long he can hold out. You have to hurry. Over and out. Hmm. We don't know what this frequency is. He said to contact a lady who we don't know. 
You know what would be interesting is if her frequency is in the uh, instructions. Because they gave like four frequencies. We should actually look at that. That would be really a great. Oh crap. Got him. All right, so let's just go inside the elevator for a second so that they don't walk walk into us. Now, let's call Madnar again. No, he doesn't have any in info for us. What if I go back to his, hold on. He said, like, if you know her frequency, you can get in contact with her, but then he didn't tell us her actual number. Alright, so we're back in the instruction manual. Wait a second. What's Holly's frequency? Okay, this is 0.15. So she's saying they might be connected through the drainage ditch, but we were in the drainage ditch. It didn't seem like it was there. Damn, this game is really cool, or this instruction manual is really cool. I'll post a link to it on the Discord for anybody who wants to see it, but be careful because you might see some info that you don't want to see. Okay, so this gives you like the base frequencies. And then it also has like write-in areas, like fill in the blanks. So hold on, I'll lower the brightness again. But it's like, you can see that there's basic frequencies for like the main characters. And then down here, you can like fill in the ones that you find out for yourself. And you can see that somebody wrote in pencil a couple of the frequencies, like they must have scanned a used instruction manual. That's a cool way to do the instructions though. So we have the ones for Roy Campbell. That's Roy Campbell. I don't know what all this stuff is. Oh, it's saying that they might have multiple frequencies. He has 1.85. 1. 1. We have Masta Mira, Master Miller, 0.38. George Kessera. I don't even know who that is. Hori. Hawaii, Holly White, is that her? Yeah, Holly White. Joseph, Joseph, Soru, on, Noru, on. Point four zero. I think that's the name for Jacobson. In yeah, I think his name is Joseph Nor Norwan in the Japanese version. But we don't know this uh, thing we're supposed to contact. There is a number in here that's like a base number that we we don't know. And there's a question mark in the book. George Kessler. Let's take a look, point 93. I wonder if we're doing this early, if we could even contact him at all. No, he doesn't even answer. It was a fun idea, though. Is there saying scan that's dedication and helpful? Yeah, I think that's a. Uh, it's one of my favorite things about the internet is not just like. It is how it can preserve classic video games uh, in that way, like. You can kind of like recreate the authentic experience of playing the game. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh. 
Let's just have a nice, uh, relaxing moment. I still don't know what this does. Is my gun not silenced now? No, it is. But they heard it. That's weird. I wanna see if there's anything under these tables. George Kessler, are we supposed to know his frequency? Because we already have Dr. Madnar's, but we don't even have his. I wonder where else we can go. Maybe there was an area in the basement that we didn't find. So let's go back down. Um, yeah, or maybe outside? Oh, you know what? There might be doors on the left that we didn't try. Yeah, let's take a look at some of these. Maybe even going back through this, uh, the uh, sewer grate or whatever. There might be doors here that we haven't tried. This one we definitely tried. That does not work. If we go through here... I think this leads us to the uh, front door. And then it would be like that drop down above the front door. Uh-oh. I love how the guy is looking right at us when we drop down, too. So this, we wouldn't uh, be able to do anything here. three times that I've been to Japan actually I have gone to like any classic games area like in Akihabara or Shinjuku or anywhere I always ask do you have a copy MSX copy of Metal Gear or even like I would settle for an NES copy which is a it's not like the uh, Kojima's like developed version but it's just a cool thing to have and they never have it or if they do they'll have like one and it'll be like you know $200 or something. I don't know if I've ever asked for Metal Gear 2, though. I wonder if that's more or less rare. Yeah, it would be really cool to have a copy of Metal Gear one or two. Uh-oh. There you go. Yeah, I don't think there's any uh, 
doors here, but it's worth checking, I guess. If you guys have seen my, uh, a little fun fact, if you go check the uh, Voice of Nick Vlogs channel, our first ever YouTube video, or Voice of Nick Vlogs YouTube video, has in the room tour, you can see to the right of my desk, I have this uh, framed copies of Police Knots and Snatcher, which are Kojima's other um, games that he made around this time. But I also have a framed um, MSX magazine. It's called MSX Fan. And it uh, in that magazine is uh, Metal Gear 2. And you can actually see the Metal Gear from this game that was in the opening cutscene. Oh crap. So, uh, yeah, I think that was like a, a fun find. And then like I framed the magazine itself and everything. All official like. So the one benefit that we have here is that every time we change screens, it will at least um, make them not know that we're necessarily there. So we can use that to our advantage. So like the guards will still be looking for us, but if they don't see us instantly, then then we will actually sort of be given a break. Ah! Oh, he saw me right at the end. Alright, but we can confirm now that there is not, um... There's not anything out here. I wonder if the ration is back. It is not. Oh, interesting. While that uh, yellow thing is wiping the, the map screen, y you actually can't see guards. I didn't realize. Also, they can definitely see through the fences. You can't shoot through the fence, but they can see you through the fence. So we gotta be careful about that. Should be able to get this ammo again. All right, so where else? My number one idea right now is that we would go to the base, ba basement two, and go down the garbage chute. I wonder if we can get into the garbage room. What if we went, no, if we went down the garbage chute, we would die probably. Or into the like trash compactor thing. But I wonder what other route there would be out of there. Cause there's definitely other zones to walk in, but I don't know how to get to them. Maybe if we just take the elevator to basement two, that would be different than taking the garbage chute. That's worth a shot. Although I think we ended up at the elevator, so that would mean that they're not different, but let's check it anyway.
Oh man. We have to go to second floor and then go to the other elevator. All right. Now. That's B1. Maybe there's like a different garbage chute from a different floor. Or maybe we can make a call while we're in the basement. I think Holly had the info on that. There are lots of children living in Zanzibar land. They're war orphans from all over the world. They're just innocent kids, so they won't hurt you. See ya. Okay. I mean, I wasn't gonna assume that they would hurt me, but okay. <laughs> Joe's saying, okay, thanks. Yeah. You know, just in case you were wondering, they won't hurt you. I love the way that Holly ends her phone calls of like, see ya! <laughs> it's like, alright, I guess you're done talking now. See, look, there's definitely other areas to go in, but I don't know how to get there, because we can't just go off the edge of this. So what happens if we go in, in here... Yeah, that's definitely going to kill us if we go into that thing. What if I call her from here? Put yourself in the enemy's shoes. Imagine you're the enemy commander, or the game designer, in charge of guarding that area. You might see possibilities you couldn't see before, over and out. Man. Broken Soul saying, we are the eyeballs? I'm not sure what you mean. The, uh... I'm not sure, yeah. Is there saying, looking at the web, some listings go up to $700. Yeah, it's a really rare game. I mean, obviously it's very sought after. No, Holly doesn't have any info about this. When making decisions on the battlefield, there's no single right answer. Just trust your own judgment. Over and out. I think he's only gonna have one thing to say. Yeah. Fight when you have to fight. Kill when you have to kill. Those are the rules on the battlefield. In a shooting game. Over and out. <laughs> oh my god, they're doing a lot of that like fourth wall stuff from Metal Gear 1. This isn't a good time to talk. Call me later, okay? <laughs> Jeez, Holly. Um, I guess we might as well also call Madnar. This is my thing is like I'm gonna try and call them in the different rooms because in Metal Gear 1 Based on what room you called them in it would change their responses Oh, he's talking about Master Miller, all right Nothing there. Nothing there. Are they just getting bored of me now? They're just like, alright, stop. 
When replenishing your fluids, you shouldn't drink any more than 100 cc's at a time. When it absorbs fluids, your body burns an amount of energy equal to the temperature difference between your body and the fluid. That's because it has to raise the fluid's temperature to match your body's temperature. It also makes your blood thinner, slowing your brain functions. So don't drink too much soda while you're playing. Over and out. <laughs> Damn, this game is good. Okay, this is the same design. One, Holly. I think Holly is going to be the key to this. But I'm just enjoying all the different dialogue options we get. It's not fear itself that makes the difference between a hero and a coward. It's whether you've got the mental fortitude to overcome that fear and get the job done. Over and out. Jacob's and never answers. Alright, here's my other idea, is maybe we can call Holly when the child appears. Is there gonna check your games and see what Metal Gear Solid games you have? That's a good idea. In the collection. I have a bunch of them that I brought with me here to LA. There's a couple of games that I've never played, uh, like non-canon ones that I've never, like I've never played Snake's Revenge, which is the uh, unsolicited Metal Gear 1 sequel. I've never played Metal Gear Acid 1 or 2, which are the PSP tactics games. Here we go. Nope, she didn't have anything to say. Damn, okay, so we're done with this, then we can't do anything on uh, this uh, basement 2. Damn. And I can't shoot, oh wait, can I? Oh, so I can shoot these, but what would that do? Doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just missing it. No, it doesn't do anything. I'm surprised they don't even explode. <sighs> oh, Broken Soul. Oh, you thought those were eyeballs. No, those were uh, depth charges, like, uh, you know, water-based landmines. They did kind of look like eyeballs, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, this area we've been to... Yeah, this is where the cracked walls were. We've checked every single door there. And up here, we've also checked. Oh, is there saying you still have an your Atari console? Wow. That would be cool to to uh to bust out. You'd have to have a like a CRT TV or something with red and red, white and yellow connectors. Ben Frosting, I thought you streamed a little bit of Metal Gear Acid when you first started on Twitch. Wow, good memory. Yeah, actually, before Twitch, that was on Facebook. Um, I did stream maybe like 30 minutes of it, that's true. So I guess I can't technically say that I've never played it. But yeah, I never like played it for any serious amount of time, I guess. Yeah, it was cool what I saw of it though, or what I played of it. Alright, so this floor. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, we're in trouble! We're in trouble, we're in trouble. Got him. Okay. Now, we wanna, um, 
I suspect we might be missing a door that's on this floor. Sometimes it's hard to spot where the doors are if they're like facing in the wrong direction. Okay. Oh, this guy's going there. Letting him pass. Very stealthy, like. And we definitely got this, yeah. I can't go down or else this guy's gonna see me. Oop. So we went all the way around now. Ah, oh, it just misses him. Oh no. Go. We've definitely checked every single door up to this point, haven't we? Maybe there's something else outside the complex, which was on, what floor was that? Shut the lights. Does that do anything? Can I? What if I use the door while the lights are off? Oh no, it just turns it back on. Oh no, but they're still off in here. What if I go up here? So the lights are off everywhere now. What if I go to the elevator? No, they're on here. Because maybe if the lights are off, it shuts off some kind of power circuit. And then you can open the doors? No, the lights are on here, though. So what else is in this area? Right, this is where this was.
And then what does this actually do? If I get hit by this... Oh, it's just an alert. And I don't think I was... Oh, I can go through here. Uh-oh. Oh my god. These cameras are killers. So I want to try one more time to go in this dust chute. What could possibly be different about going down here? What would... Maybe I should have called them while I was up there? Where would the dust chute get us to other than that? Wait, so now the garbage thing is not going. Holly is not interested in talking to us. Uh oh, now this thing's gonna start moving. Yeah, I think that's all we got. I don't think we can... Can I try the binoculars? Oh, okay, I can see the other screen. The binoculars have never been, it's never been apparent why they're useful. Like, why would I need to know what's on the next screen? Alright, so this has more kids walking around. Hmm. It's a mystery, really. There must be some other chute that gets us down to a different spot. Okay, let's save it. I'm very curious where it could be. I think my number one idea right now is it might be that we have to go outside in that upper area. And maybe there's a zone there that we didn't check because that's the only place that we haven't really looked at. But for now, ladies and gents, that is gonna do it for Metal Gear 2. Thank you everybody for joining the show. Despite getting a little bit lost at the end here, we're still making a whole lot of progress in this game, so I'm very excited. The storyline is thickening. And uh, if you don't know the channel that you're watching, it's called The Voice of Nick. On here I stream three times a day, seven days a week. We play story-based games, and they're what we call ultra-blind playthroughs, which means I don't talk over story or cutscene moments, but I do request no one utilize their pre-existing knowledge of the game or the franchise. If you want to see more of what happens on here, you can type exclamation mark games in the chat. And you'll get a full list of all six concurrent gameplay series going, including Metal Gear 2. And if you like what you saw today, don't forget to hit that follow button. Up top, you see that follower goal of 10. We're currently at 8, so we're getting there, guys. If you like the channel and you want to support the stuff that I do, then consider subscribing. Subscribers get a whole bunch of stuff on here, including the voice of Nick Emo, legendary status in the chat and Discord, 200 meatballs, higher chance to win in the heist minigames, and ad free streams. Subs also get that handsome sub badge in front of their names. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you to everyone who cheers. Cheerleader boards this week we have in first place Ben Frost with 245 cheer. That is a purple level cheer. Thank you to Ben Frost. Uh, second place Broken Souls with 191 cheer. Thank you to Broken Soul. Uh, those are purple level cheers. Thank you so much to everybody who supports these streams. It is very highly appreciated. Uh, you're directly helping the shows to get better. 
Now, guys, we're going to find somebody to raid here at the end of the program. See who's playing a video game at this very moment in time. Let's jump into one of these. The way we do raids on this channel, we always raid someone who's playing a previous game in our playthrough series. So as not to see any info about games that we're currently playing or any games that we plan on playing in the future. Ooh, somebody's playing Half-Life Alex. Good stuff. We got a bunch of people online right now. Let's go say hello to one of our friends on here. We have so ooh, a lot of Last of Us Part 2s. That's certainly one that we would like to play at some point. Who knows <laughs> when we'll get to Last of Us Part 2. First, we got to play Last of Us Part 1. All right, let's jump into this one. We're going to go say hi to our friend, de 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 the Curly Crew, who's currently playing Dark Souls, a game that we certainly enjoy. Let's go say hello to Curly Crew, ladies and gents. Thank you for posting those links in there, Azir. And guys, I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching.